Welcome back to the Thursday walkthrough. Martin O'Donnell here with Coach Lovey Smith. Coach, congratulations on the win. Always, uh, always a lot easier to correct things when you come out on the on the winning side of it. Absolutely, one goal, and that was to get a win uh, this first week. You know, we knew we were, we were playing a lot of young players. First action at Memorial Stadium, and we knew the guys would have to fight through adversity. We did, and we just wanted our team to be playing this best ball at the end of the game, and we were. Well, and you mentioned it in your press conference earlier this week that you think teams make the most improvement between week one and week two. Why is that? Well, it's just that, you know, especially when you're young, too, there are just situations that we haven't put them in, you know. In training camp, there's not a lot of tackling, finishing, stripping the quarterback, tackling the running back. So you get in position, but you never really know who can truly finish plays until you get to that first game. Get to that first game. Now we have something on record on how guys perform in tough situations. And then you can go in that direction from there. Well, in talking about finishing the game, obviously a tough third quarter for the defense against Ball State. They had a couple long scoring drives there. But, you know, what, did you, what was the difference between the third quarter and the fourth quarter with respect to the defense just being able to stop them and giving the offense the opportunity to come back? A part of, uh, you know, going through the first game, too, is just, uh, you know, being in a situation. We had a lead. You know, first time we've had a lead going into the locker room, so we need to be able to handle that better. But the fourth quarter, you have to give Ball State a lot of credit. They came out with a good plan. At the end of the game, we were really playing well third down-wise. We had some critical third down plays, a couple where the quarterback scrambled to make, to make first downs. You have to be able to get the opponent off of the field. That allowed, you know, our defense had to play more and our offense didn't get a chance to play as much as they would like, but we'll, we'll learn from those situations. Well, and one thing that was, again, apparent out there, playing a lot of young guys, but especially along the defensive, end, the defensive line, Bobby Roundtree out there making a few plays, Isaiah Gay making his impact felt later in the game. How do you feel that the young guys did across the defensive front? I thought the young defensive lineman did an excellent job. Bobby Roundtree has been that way and Isaiah Gay since they got on campus. Um, we love both of them coming out of high school. Uh, Bobby is, you know, think about it, Bobby's gained about 30 pounds really since we saw him. He's gotten stronger, bigger, faster, all of that. He's also, uh, you know, made plays when he's been in that lead role. And Isaiah Gay uh, can really rush on the outside. And in the critical moments at the end, both of those guys made plays. Well, and. You know, one thing that seemed apparent as the game went along was the ability for the defensive line to really make an impact and, and get pressure with four rushers. How important is that to your defense in particular, especially with some young guys on the back end, to be able to get pressure with just the four? Well, it's, it's critical. I mean, we say the defensive line is the engine of our defense, and we want to get pressure and we want to blitz when we want to, not because we have to to get pressure. And, and that's about being able to get that pressure with four guys. Uh, the rush lanes broke down at times, but in the end, when we needed to rush and win one-on-one -on -one battles, we were able to do that. Well, and you, and you mentioned finishing plays, and I think some of this just comes with experience and with growth, but you know, certainly there's plays out there where you can just see guys, they, they get a little bit ahead, you know, over their skis a little bit, a little off balance, Turf Monster gets them here or there. Um, those things are corrected through film, right? Absolutely. And we were. And again, your first game, there is a lot of excitement. You know, night before, you think about all the things that can happen. But in the end, you get out there. And there were some critical moments where we were close. You know, almost had the quarterback sacked a couple of times. Uh, long passing plays, just a little bit out of our reach. But you like correcting those type of things as you head into, you know, week two. You know, we're underdogs week two and uh, just excited by getting a chance to do it again at Memorial Stadium. Well, Coach, thanks for making time and thanks for stopping by the Thursday walkthrough. Thank you. Looking for a card that gives you more? A Illini Visa Rewards Card. Earn points every day to fly any airline, anytime, no blackout dates. The Illini Visa Rewards Card. Available only through U of I Community Credit Union.